pelican with some very soft mangoes, a closet full of skeletons and terry cloth kangos. Hey guys, Mango Kango here, and we got a little mini update in Pizza Place. So, Dude One announced that we will, well, we do have a Pizza Slicer Game Pass, 70 Robux, which is not a bad price, um, considering it's probably, what is that, like, less than a dollar in terms of Robux. So that's pretty good, um, but I understand why people aren't liking it exactly. Then it increases it by 10% value. And it can be, it can cut through all this stuff and you'll lose stars and obviously we'll go into that. The estate and mansion floor trim no longer interfere with the furniture placement. Shiny, okay, hold on, we'll go into that um, last. But yeah, no, this doesn't really work and I'll go into that as well. Dragging objects should be more reliable. Okay, sure. Door opening, <laughs> obviously that's an improvement, but I don't know how um, much that was actually improved. Door opening sound effects and are back along with the style change to the doors. So let's start with the doors. Um, Here's the door. It has a circle in it now. Let me turn up my sound effects so you can for sure hear this. But yeah, this door is definitely new. All right, so let's see what it sounds like. And that's what it sounds like. I already knew what it was gonna sound like, um, so it's not really a first reaction, but yeah, no, it's, I, did they sound like that before? Like originally? I don't know, but that's cool. Nice little change. And over in the boxing area is where you're going to find your little drawer with the pizza slicer. Um, it is strange that this doesn't have a noise as well. Like a dragon noise would have been kind of nice, but you can grab it like that. Obviously you have to have the game pass, which is not located there. Where is, here it is, in the little shop icon. You can get it right here. So this is what it looks like in your hand. Um, pretty cool actually. So you can grab a box and grab a pizza. And you can do this all while you're holding the pizza cutter and then you can click it and it cuts it just like that. And then you can close it and place it on the conveyor belt. And then with the 10% increase, it is 11, and a regular would be only 10. Now, if you're going too quick, and you grab a box, and you cut it before you cut the pizza, that is what happens. <laughs> you must have been cutting really hard if you cut it like that. Yeah, it's pretty intense. Um, obviously, this could cause a troll chaos. So if you accidentally click the dough as well, you'll cut it. If you accidentally try and grab one of these, you'll cut it and your um, pay gets decreased and eventually you'll be able to get fired by the manager and if you have a pizza and it has stuff on it it can also be cut by the pizza I mean not by the pizza by the cutter the cutter will cut the pizza it cuts almost anything and it causes a bunch of chaos which is something that I know some people are worried about so if you own a private server like the one I'm in right now it won't kick you from cutting a bunch of stuff however if you're in a main server, as I'll have on screen right now, and you start spamming and clicking and destroying everything, the game automatically kicks you, which is a very new feature um, to have implemented. But yeah, uh, you can you won't be able to join that server again. Like it's like being fired by the manager. So trims no longer interfere with furniture placement. This is still not true, or at least what I think of interfering. Um, it, it takes after the hitbox, so even if I drag it to try and push it in here, it doesn't work, yeah? It, it isn't it doesn't work, and obviously the biggest reason people want this feature is so that they can place this stuff. Now, maybe at one point in time it was like you weren't able to place it here, but I'm, I'm pretty certain you were able to place it here, so we're not going to go into that. And then um, the door interfering with it. Um, this is almost exactly the same. In fact, I don't really see a difference at all because I've tried this many times before and because I, I try and get like a poster over the door and it's just not possible, unfortunately. Um, even getting it to sit on that trim level is very, very difficult as well, which I don't know why that is, but you can get it very close like this. But I'm, again, fairly certain, and I'll show you evidence of a pass build, that you were able to do this well before the update. So I'm not sure what he means by these collision fixes. And as you can see here, it's still rebounding off of something, even by the garage door. The backyard door is does better, but it can't even be placed on the ground because the trim also interferes with it. So even ignoring all that, um, I'm going to talk about another problem too that should probably be acknowledged is that these posters can't be placed here. Like this is completely in the open. It shouldn't have a problem being placed here, but it does. And obviously I'm not trying to like be rude about it and be like, oh, nothing's fixed, but I genuinely 
don't think the entire problem's been fixed yet, and I think he could use the small criticism on like stuff like this too, where it doesn't place. Now, I want to note that he did say dragon objects, so this could mean like an object that has nothing to do with placing an object, which I'm sure could be something that he means as well. And is this easier to drag? I guess. Alright, and then he said he fixed an issue with the jeep, so let's go look at that real quick. Um, I don't know why the car doesn't spawn here anymore. I don't know if it's supposed to, but it doesn't, so I just thought I'd mention that. But yeah, jeep back seats. I either A, need to not be the owner of the vehicle, or I'm just stupid. And it's probably a combination of both. <laughs> but, but I'm not able to sit in the back seat, so I can't really test it for you guys. But yeah, here's the creator trophy in all of its glory. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I want to note something that someone did say in the Discord that did surprise me is that I actually did make a trophy that looked very similar to this. So I find it quite funny that um, it does have like some reminiscence of looking similar to it. But yeah, it says creator on the bottom, which is very, very sick. And you got the little camera and it sparkles. Yeah, I'm just very honored that Dude One has gone out of his way to make something that's dedicated to people like me and other people that you probably know that make videos um, on Pizza Place. I think it's very special and I greatly appreciate it. So thank you, obviously, and thank you to you guys. Uh, but yeah, um, that kind of sums up the um, video. Again, thank you so much to everyone who made the trophy thing possible in the first place. And uh, yeah, I have, again, that thousand subs special. Um, I want to include the, like, the trophy in it, so I gotta, I gotta keep reworking it, and I promise you it's coming out. It's not gonna be, like, anything crazy, so don't get too hyped, but, um, it's gonna be kind of a dedication to everything that has happened on this channel so far, and a little bit of a past backstory type stuff, so, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, I have other stuff, obviously, that I'm always thinking of making, so, and recommend stuff to me, too. I'd be happy to look into it. But yeah, uh, see you guys in the next one.